feet. I uh, don't forget, um, in the finals, when 07 restarted their entire computers after every game. <laughs> I don't remember that happening. When did they do that? Uh, that was that was against the EU. That was when I think that was when we were in uh, headquarters the first time. Oh, was that? Uh, oh gosh, that was a long time ago. Was that COT seven maybe or eight? I can't remember. God, they all blur together Something after a while. Like they do. When you've been doing this two years, they all kind of start blurring together. <laughs> yep. All right, game's loading, guys. We're just going to cut straight to it here. The narrows of the English Channel have borne witness. He says pushing the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> I accidentally loaded the video again. I was like, no, no, no. They've already seen the video. Let's just get through it. Let's get moving. All right. Game two, take two here of Cot of um, King of the Sea 10 here. Rogue Fleet versus Star. Crash Zone Alpha. Let's see, is everybody moving this time? Everybody on this side of the map is moving. Wait, no. Maybe the Goliath is just slow to load. Abort! Abort! <laughs> no, he's moving. He's moving. All right. He's moving. That's good. We're all here. Woohoo! All right. Let's get some action going. Star very quickly sending Venezia, Stalingrad, and Des Moines down south headed to A. Goliath and Thunder are breaking north towards C as both destroyers make revolution straight for the middle of the map right now. Both Summers and Daring kind of pushing into the center. Rogue Fleet also splitting up here. Saints fans, Summers. We got a Moskva, Des Moines, Salem, and Yamato headed to C. Everybody else headed down to A. They are, they are completely avoiding the B cap. Although Get Rex Des Moines is taking the inside track on this island as he moves east along the D line, he'll be able to radar potentially B if he wants to. It looks like he might go snuggle up that island in uh, D6. It's kind of interesting how oh, it seems like both teams are sending their Des Moines into the, the opposite radar trap position. Um, but Star seems to be being a little bit closer to B cap. I think they're going to try just touching it to see if they can bait the radar out. Kirim's Whereas you're absolutely right. It looks like RF's not interested. In yeah, Kirim's Daring is trying to trying to sneak into the bottom end of the Bravo cap here. Snuggle up to this island on the bottom edge as 8-Fax Summers is headed uh, through the gap on the 7 line up to C. They've got eyes on Get Wrecked now. Yeah, it's important to notice right now RF has no vision whatsoever. They don't see anybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, Get Wrecked just used radar. He just used his radar, but Kiram is out out of range of it. Uh, he cannot. They cannot pick him up. In fact, Kiram is reversing if he's not careful. Yeah, he he backed off too backed off the cap too far. It must have caught Get a wrecked. sniff of him. Yes, he is now detected. Ooh, took a big hit there. Yeah, he is now. They're trying. Yep. Ah, it's a, it's a daring. He'll just heal it back. That's right. There you go. But just once, a flesh wound. That's right. But once the radar's down, Kieran will be able to move right back in there and cap. Right? There's nothing. Once then, once that happens, there's nothing that Get Wrecked can do about it. Uh, nope. You've got the Mosfa putting himself in a position as well. Who is that? That Serpent Lord. Serpent Lord is probably uh, just at the edge of radar range from that position. Ah, uh, I see him now. Yes, I see what you're talking about. Let's have a check. Yeah, he's he's able to radar be. Yes, he absolutely can if he wants to, and they don't know he's there yet. Correct. Star does not know that Moskva's position. What is Kieran doing? He looks like he's he's staying down there, but he's not in a big rush to get back in the cap. Oh, eight fact took a torp. Yeah. Star Summers taking a torp just south of C, trying to get into the cap before it flips over, but he fails. That was Saints fans' uh, torpedoes there. I'm sure he's very happy with that. Kieran now, the conga line of Daring Torps heading in to get wrecked as Kieran now touching the bo very bottom end of B, heading away from the Moskva that they now can finally spot. He didn't know was there, and he is just barely on the radar range of it. Looks like, yep, there comes the yep. radar, and he's bailing out. Rogue Fleet doing a brilliant job early of keeping Star off of this B cap where they clearly have made a play. I want to see if these torpedoes go in on Get Wrecked. These, these conga line torpedoes are really good on stationary cruisers if they get aimed correctly. Nope. 
Looks like he didn't take anything. Nope. We can't also, see him. Also, did you notice that RF is taking ah. all uh, school bus camos? I did not. <laughs> RF would, had grabbed a quick early lead, but they've the the Summers, that's uh, AFAC Summers, working the bottom end of C, holding those points down. As fans going to take a torp. Oh, oh goodness gracious, he sure did. Eight fact, just kind of re repaying the favor. That's right. Both destroyers at uh, at H, or sorry, at C, trading torpedoes unspotted. As Kieran's daring back into B, he's trying to work up to the northern end of the cap where the the Des Moines won't have shells on him, but would be able to radar him. That yeah. radar's probably up. And Rekt is currently wrecking Kiram. He's yeah. forcing him to back off. Rekt is doing a really, radar. really good job of playing defense. Star, if they're going to dislodge him. Oh, good hit. Good hit from the Kremlin there on Get Wrecked. They're going to need to they're going to need to keep that Kremlin right there and and force Get Wrecked out of that position if Star wants to cap B. Absolutely. 5 minutes gone, both teams trading health, jockeying for position, but the points have barely moved here on Crash Zone Alpha. RF working a 20-point lead. Get wrecked playing with fire here, trying to bow tank a Kremlin. That salvo wasn't as devastating as the one before it here. Star pushing a Des Moines, trying to maybe edge up around the side here. Nope. A is a big giant stalemate. Kafiz Summers yeah. has, has tried to cap A and given about half his HP for it. He doesn't have anything to show for it right now. Yeah, very interesting to note. There's about a 40,000 hit point difference between the two teams right now. They are. RF is definitely Ooh. trading better. No question. Predator Dragon from Star just took a big torp. Stalingrad. Oh, yes, cap. he did. I see it. Yep. He's kind of exposed in that position as well. He's kind of come too far forward. You don't normally see a Stalin playing that far forward. Yammy shells come in, but don't don't hit home. Kieran looks like he is going to finally bag B, working the extreme edge of it, and there it does. Six and a half minutes gone, and Star bags a cap in response. But Barba's Des Moines down at A is getting absolutely hammered. I think these Summers Torps are finally doing some work or something. He's on 4K and falling as the other as Sub Zero's Des Moines has him under fire. Yeah, let's scope in and see what happens here. This is a crucial torpedo dodge. Yep. Oh, but the island I'll, says nope. Island takes one out of the out of the equation. He'll be able to dodge the other one, but that follow up salvo right now that has me worried. That 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 farther north one looks like it's on a perfect line. Oh, Barbara turned again. Yeah, he turned again. He's gonna eat it. Kill number one. Wow. Going to rogue. Going to rogue fleet. Here on Crash Zone Alpha as Star bags C to take a cap advantage. That's an interesting play, too. Yeah, they're, they're trading heavily their hit points in order to get a little bit of map control. As yeah. Predator Dragon's got to dodge some torpedoes as well. Here comes the minigame. Yeah, but on, on in King of the Sea, that almost never works, right? We see, we see teams, we see ships sacrificing their HP to pick up caps. It's almost never the right play. Predator's going out. Up two kills, down two caps. Rogue Fleet looking really solid with their focus fire here on Crash Zone Alpha. As they look like they might bag A. No, they're getting they're getting some shells into Kafi's Summers now. Stalingrad must have him lit with radar. He's spotted somehow. Kafi's doing a brilliant job at A of not getting hit. Like, he's just got all this incoming fire, and he's just dodging, like, hordes of it. That's just, that's good destroyer play right there, you know? Absolutely. Oliver Stalingrad going to take a Summer's Torp down here. This is going to hurt. Yep, cuts his health in half. As Nito is in a bow tanking duel with a Des Moines, I can tell you from personal experience, this is a duel that he will lose. Mm -hmm. As a Venezia. That's not a duel you can win against a Des Moines. I've been there. No, and he's trying to, to back off here and put some distance in, but nah, it's just it's, too little it's, too it's too little too late. Without his smoke, he can't even get out of there. 
the Des Moines is just going to burn him, burn him to the ground, and that's exactly what's going to happen here in another salvo or two. I, frankly, I'm surprised that Serpent Lord didn't get some shells in on him because he was completely broadside there. He's been yeah. really focused on that Stalingrad. Well, Stalin is also going out very soon on fire, down under 2,000 HP, and there he goes. Up four ships. I, Zath, I don't think Stars got this, man. I just don't think they can do it. No. Nope. Lucas is now humping the border, trying desperately to survive and make something happen. But see he's this? Gonna get focused and killed. Yep. Problem in the Thunderer now. There's your full health battleship meme coming into play. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he does. He does eat a torpedo that Lucas doesn't have to. So that's something, I suppose. <laughs> But in the end, it's just not going to matter. I just I just don't see a way that Star gets back into this game. Nope. They gave up too much health to get the board control that they had. They got lucky. The only reason they got lucky is they... Uh, at See, they put a torpedo into Saints fan, and they've never spotted him again because they had no radar up here. Well, they did. They had the one Stalingrad, yep. but, but RF focused him off the board, and now they can't spot him anymore. Yeah, Halfway get wrecked doing a, a beautiful job with that Des Moines... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm telling you right now. To me, that that is the that is the that is the play of the match right there. Get Rex positioning mm -hmm. and how well he managed his Des Moines right there at B, keeping that daring tied up for more than five minutes at the B cap to start the game. Bloody brilliant, Zath. Bloody brilliant. Yep. And then also, uh, any time that daring showed up, just tapping him on the shoulder, saying, "Don't forget, I'm That's here." That's right. Don't forget, I haven't left. I haven't gone anywhere. So I mean. We, we've seen in clan battles a uh, good Des Moines play from, from our own clan mate, Sil, Oof. just causing the wins. And, whoa, yes. Thunderer goes down. That was quick. Well, he ate a bunch of torpedoes, and I think he, I think he ate some full, some full Yamato pins as well. Look at the Yamato position where the Thunderer died. I'm sure he, he mm -hmm. caught some full pins at that angle. Mm-hmm. Here goes Lucas. Oh, but he gets the trade at least. Yep, all over but the crying here on Crash Zone Alpha as Rogue Fleet is going to go up 2-0 here on day one momentarily. As but at least this wasn't a full wipe. They got it a, wasn't. Star got a kill on it. No, and they, well, they, and they played a really good game, right? Like, their early, like mm -hmm. the initial deployment, the strategy. I, I There are some things that I look at their ship selection and I go, mm, maybe not on this map, but I mean, I like where the, I like where their head was at. And their destroyer play was really good, I thought. Yep. I got death pick number two. 